so today we have a different type of video. We're not in the normal spot. We're actually in a really small town and we're gonna see if you can do Instacart and still make decent money even in a small town. I've seen a lot of people saying, well, oh, I, I can't make money because I, I live in a small town, blah, blah, blah. Today, we're gonna be trying to put that to rest. Obviously, if you're in a small town, you're gonna have different results than if you're in a big city, but the whole point of this video is to show you that it's still possible. And it's also currently storming, so hopefully you guys can still hear me. But yeah, today should be a pretty interesting day. I'm actually already headed to my first order. Our first order was $32 and it's at Target. 16 miles though, but I figured might as well take it since it might be potentially slow because we're in a smaller area. So I have a packed lunch and we are ready to work and uh, make some money. The reason today is gonna be a little weird is because my dog had surgery yesterday. We had to pick her up in the morning. I missed the Costco drop where I'd normally go, so I'm just gonna do Instacart here, see how it goes. I figured it'd be a decent video anyways, so I'll see you guys in a little. Made it to Target. This order is gonna be a little weird because it's a bunch of like holiday stuff and um, baking stuff. So as long as we can find the holiday stuff, I think we're gonna be good, so wish us luck. All right, so we're done with that order. It took us 20 minutes to shop. It should have only been 10, but the store was like kind of out of stock. So I had to contact the customer and um, I had to do several refunds just because holiday stuff is out of stock right now at Target. Not completely, but a good portion of it. So I had to refund three stocking stuffers, which is basically just like Reese's Pieces. And then um, I also had to refund four packs of protein shakes, which is a lot. So if it's an adjustable tip, that tip's going down a lot. So it is what it is. I called the customer and they're super nice and they understood, but um, we're gonna go ahead and drop this off and see what the $32 turns into. I'm gonna guess 28 and I'd be happy at 28. So we'll see what happens. Currently my uh, phone's loading. It's been loading for about five minutes and I, I just can't get service. So that sucks. So I literally have no idea where their drop off is at. Um, so I'm, I'm just driving around and hoping I get service. I know like the general like direction, but that's literally it. So I'm hoping my phone decides to work here pretty soon. And speaking of, I'm gonna let it charge. I am starting to get pretty hungry, so I'm probably gonna get that lunch pretty soon as soon as we're done dropping this off. All right, so order went down to 26, which is a lot lower. I think that was a, I think it went down $7. So that's not normal at all. That's a pretty big jump in price. So right now I am looking for more batches. I am eating some chili at like traffic lights and stuff because it's kind of hard to do that with one hand. And then I need gas for the car. So I'm gonna go do that and then hopefully find an order here pretty soon to keep us on track. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens and hopefully we get another decent order. All right, so it is currently raining very hard and the parking lot is full because it's a Saturday, so I get a walk in the rain a lot. We just got a $17 order, three miles, 23 items. So that should put us, I think at like, that should put us, I think at around 40, a little over 40, like 43 or so. So not too bad. I think we're about halfway to our goal by the time we're done with this. So that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll even see a, a really good batch and get over our goal somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and wander around this parking lot and try and find a spot that is closer because I don't want to get completely soaked. I have no umbrella, so wish me luck. All right, so we finished that order and I think about 25 minutes in the store. I had to do a few replacements and one of the replacements the customer like requested, but then also wanted me to refund it after I found it, which I thought was a little weird. Um, I have heard that Instacart at some point started basically saying that customers requested something when in reality they didn't. So I'm curious if that just happened because there are two items that had really, really weird replacements. Like for vanilla wafers, they wanted graham crackers instead, which I thought was weird, almost like a Instacart suggested replacement because those can be a little uh, confusing at times. So I am absolutely soaked because I had a park so far away. I am cold and wet. It's not fun and it's still raining it's been like storming all day and this is not normal in texas so this drop off is eight minutes away i assume this order is going to go down because of the replacement and refund 
hopefully not as much as our last order. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the next batch. Sorry I haven't really been able to show you like the cart or like what my trunk looks like when it's all packed up, but it's just been raining all day and I don't really feel like being out there any more than I have to. All right, so I just dropped that order off. Um, I think we're at 43 right now and I just took another $16 order. So basically being in the, the smaller town, I've noticed that I'm seeing smaller orders, but more of them. Where whenever I'm in like a big city, I'll see a big order like every once in a while, but one big order is all I need for a couple of hours really there. So it is at a different store though, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna shop it at the store I'm closer to just because I wanna get the shopping over with. All right, so we just finished that order. I think it took us 20 minutes to shop. It's 15 minutes away. And once again, how to do replacements and refunds. Seems to be a reoccurring theme of the holidays. This is probably gonna go down as well. After I'm done dropping us off, we'll take a look and see how we're doing money-wise and see if we're on track or if we're way behind the normal pace. All right, so a miracle just happened and we got a $46 batch. It is at a further away store, but for $46 I am willing to drive and the delivery is only like one mile away. So that should be really easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do this order and then hopefully it's done raining by the time I get there. And uh, we'll do a recap at the end of that because that should be my last order. Ideally, if we don't do a ton of replacements, should put us at over 100. Just finished that order. Took 56 minutes for me to shop that. And the Instagram app is having a ton of issues today. Basically, anything you scan doesn't go through. Um, you have to restart the app every single time you scan an item just to see that it went through. So I would do like 10 items at a time and then scan and restart the app. And it uh, just made it a very long process but we're done now the drop off was literally three minutes away which is fantastic I did have to refund a few items but it shouldn't be a big deal um, it might go down a couple dollars is my guess but either way as long as I get to 100 today I'll be happy so I'm gonna drop this off and then we'll do a, a quick recap and uh, see how shopping in a small town did for us all right so we just dropped that last order off so we are done for today we had a late start, so we didn't make quite as much as normal, but we still did pretty good for the time that we did work. In total, Instacart is saying that we worked five hours and we made $104. So if I'm capable of doing math here, that should work out to be about $20 an hour, um, almost like 21. So not too bad um, for a small town. Hopefully this gives you guys some motivation even if you're not in the biggest of cities, you guys can still at least make some money as like a side hustle. So yeah, I would say today is pretty successful. I'll see you guys on the next video, hopefully back at Costco making some more money. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Greatly appreciate that. I'll see you on the next one.